I'm quite British, right? A matter of fact, and I see a wall as a wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> According to records, British former boy bander Lewis Tomlinson ended up selling his 6,000 square foot Hollywood Hills mansion just last year in 2020. While the home sold for $6.4 million, it was still at nearly a million dollar loss for the musician. Despite selling this glamorously modern abode, Lewis continues to maintain a Victorian style estate just a few miles from downtown London and also apparently used to own a gorgeous Calabasas mansion before retreating from the Hollywood spotlight. Today, Today we're gonna check out some of his homes and you won't want to miss some of the luxury features like the infinity pool. We even found the listing. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lewis Tomlinson is a singer and songwriter from the UK who rose to fame as a member of the boy band One Direction. Prior to this, he began his career appearing in TV dramas and then auditioned for The X Factor in 2010 which resulted in forming One Direction. As you know, they went on to become one of the best selling boy bands of all time. Considering Lewis's success from the group, his solo music career and plenty of other ventures like being a judge on the X Factor himself, he's amassed a current estimated net worth of around 70 million dollars. With that kind of bank, he could afford to sell his Hollywood Hills mansion at a slight loss even if it was disappointing. And at least he had a Victorian mansion he purchased for over 2 million dollars back home in North London to fall back on where he still is to this day. Hey guys, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out where former One Direction band member Lewis Tomlinson calls home. If you like this one, be sure to check out recent drops like our Liam Payne house tour which we'll link to at the end. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. According to online reports, back in March of 2017, Lewis rented out his sprawling Calabasas mansion for $40,000 a month after purchasing the home less than two years prior for a whopping $10 million. You'll see in this house tour that price tags don't seem to be a big deal for the boy band member as he likes to splurge on classy real estate. The stunning Calabasas estate was located on five acres just steps from the highly coveted Malibu beaches and spanned 9,659 square feet, boasting five bedrooms and eight Facts. But looking at the photos of the mansion, I'm pretty sure it was One Direction member Liam Payne who lived here, not Lewis. It seems that this is actually the mansion Liam Payne sold to singer Halsey earlier this year, where she's currently living. So who was it guys, Lewis or Liam? Pick a One Direction member already. I don't doubt that Lewis owned a Calabasas mansion prior to his Hollywood Hills estate, but I don't think this was it. Actually, I'm basically sure this wasn't it. That being said, let's move on to a home we do know Lewis called home that popped up on the market in October 2020. Back in 2016 and soaking up his One Direction success, Lewis dropped $7.3 million for a stunning Hollywood Hills mansion that spans 6,000 square feet, boasting four bedrooms and five baths throughout. However, despite the regal home and all its glory, almost exactly four years later to the day in October of last year, Lewis sold the home for $6.4 million, resulting in a $900,000 loss. And we're not even talking about all the taxes, maintenance, and hefty realtor fees. But when you're making that boy band money, you can probably survive a loss like that. Lewis clearly opted to move back home across the pond to North London, and this was a move to retreat from the Hollywood spotlight. Built in 1937 and located right off the Sunset Strip in Hollywood, the extensively renovated home had been updated with ebony stained hardwood flooring, sleek buttermilk walls, mid century furnishings, and more. While the home was sold at a loss, it was still a high price for the specific neighborhood known as Outpost Estate. One Direction used to spend about 27k per week living at luxury rentals with space for all of them, so it makes sense that Lewis developed great taste in real estate. His former Hollywood home had Art Deco influences, picture perfect balconies, and amazing views of LA. In fact, you could even see the iconic Hollywood sign and the observatory right from the comfort of your own home. The mansion sat on nearly half an acre of land right in the bustling hills, an ideal location for anyone working in Hollywood. In fact, listing materials noted that Oscar winners, music
musical theater writers and rock star producers all call this mansion home. They just forgot to mention boy banders like Lewis. The stark white exterior was complemented at the front door by a ton of lush greenery which surrounded the entrance. In fact, the whole property showcased tropical landscaping, palms, and exotic plants that all made the yard and pool area much more inviting. The super modern and art deco home offered open spaces and plenty of floor to ceiling windows to take advantage of the city views. Some common rooms had full walls of retractable glass to really bring the outdoors in, like any good California mansion. A dramatic formal dining room was furnished with deco inspired mirrors, old green chairs, and a plush rug, while Lois's cool kitchen was a mix of dark woods and fresh towels. There were also goodies like double ovens, more stainless steel appliances, and a large island to prep. I wonder if Lewis can whip up meals as good as he whips up tunes. My favorite part of the kitchen has got to be the breakfast nook, which is like a surprise off to one side of the space, fully encased in windows and natural light. I'm telling you, Lewis's spread was all about the views. One of the contemporary living rooms in the home was fitted with a projection screen on one wall, making for the perfect Hollywood space to watch movies, and under the stairs, another cool feature was the secret wine cellar. Other living spaces included a sitting room with full walls of glamorous windows, and there was also a a sleek office where Lewis could get some paperwork done. His former master suite was absolute luxury with highlights like a sitting area, Fleetwood sliders out to a grand balcony, and plenty of custom fixings like the light fixture. This was definitely a room fit for a multi-million dollar pop star. Not to mention the best part of this space may have been the huge ensuite bathroom. Here there were unique tiled floors and a freestanding tub floating in the center of the room. If you'd rather take a quick shower, there's also a massive glass walk-in shower on the other side of the bathroom. Additional features in the ensuite include sitting area with fireplace and dual vanities, while nearby, there was more than one walk-in closet and dressing room just for Lewis. The grand balcony in the master bedroom was amazing for stargazing, both celebrities and up in the sky. Elsewhere in Lewis's Hollywood glam mansion, there was a home theater and bar that opened to a lounge terrace dedicated to the era of Cuban cigars and class. In fact, the backyard was quite the oasis with a whole bunch of little things to catch your attention. Sunny terrace Terraces back here were perfect for entertaining, one with seating around a modern outdoor fire pit, whereas another grassy patch by the pool offered sun loungers to tan. Aside from the concrete deck, perfect landscaping, grilling area, bar, and more in the yard, we all know what the best feature is. Does it get any better than a massive infinity pool? Actually, I think it does. How about massive infinity pool with views of the Hollywood sign and sparkling city light? Well, that's what Lewis was working with. With the amazing setup and property covered in majestic palm trees, you gotta wonder how the pop star could ever let go of such an amazing home. Despite all of that info on his Hollywood mansion, Lewis is notoriously private about his life these days. He stepped out of the limelight over the past few years, so it's not exactly surprising why there isn't a ton of information on his main home in London. However, what we do know is that back in 2012, Lewis dropped $2.25 million for a six bedroom Victorian mansion in North London, England. The four story pad boasts six bedrooms, five bathrooms, a swimming pool, spa, and enormous garden. It has yet to be seen whether Lewis will make a return back to America or not anytime soon. However, this home in London for the time being is where Lewis resides today. And considering this is where he's from, it's not surprising that the pop star decided to move back home across the pond. Alright, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to check out the homes of Lewis Tomlinson, most notably his former mega Hollywood mansion, and what we know about his North London abode, which isn't much at all unfortunately. And while it's reported that Lewis lived in that Calabasas mansion as well, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that that was his other bandmate. Either way, what was your favorite part about Lewis's Art Deco Hollywood mansion? Would you deck your home out in that design or too modern for you? I really liked that epic master suite and bathroom, but the best part of the mansion was hands down the infinity pool with those views. I mean, no competition. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Lewis's homes down in the comments, as well as which celebrity house tours you guys want to see next. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!